Okay, so hi there everybody. We're going to continue with our videos in the instrumentation and technology and mathematics. So in this video, um, I think this is going to be the last video for GeoGebra. Um, what I'm going to do, uh, which is um, connected to your math write-up number four or five, I, I can't remember, but uh, that is um, creating the logo or a logo. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to create um, a logo uh, from, from one famous, um, shall we say, um, hero. So I'm going to start off with a circle. So this is very simple, but hopefully you will see the point of how to create a, a logo making use of GeoGebra. So we're going. To, I'm going to start with a circle, and then I'm going to start with here up until five, I think. So it's a uh, a circle with radius five. Okay. I think I need to zoom out, and then uh okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to write or draw. Uh, maybe I'll start with the polygon, go directly with the polygon, say, um, maybe from here, this point, go to this point, that's going to be a straight line, and then um, it's going to be something like this, uh, maybe this, okay, let's put it in two, and then I'm going to do it like, like this, hopefully it's sort of the same point, um, okay. And then I'm going to do it like this, okay, on the parallel point. Then it's going to be also in two, and then going back. And then um, I think there's a problem here. It's too small. Uh, it's too wide. Um, let's make it again. Let's do it again. Um, maybe I want to put it higher here. It's here, and then here maybe here at um, what's that? About one unit from uh, before two. And then uh, is this straight? Okay, let's put it here. And then hopefully it will be fitting here. Okay, and then one unit from or before minus two. And there you go. So I think you know already what this logo is all about. I want to change this color here into something like color. I want to make it red. So I want to find the polygon name here on the left side of the screen. And I want to go to settings. And I want to change the color of it. And I want to go to the color tab. And I want to make it red. And making it red will, well, if you're going to look at it, um, it just makes the thing a little bit red, um, loosely red, okay, but not totally red. So I want to click that again, sorry. And I want to make it um, red as it is. So I want to make full the opacity, make it really full. And then making, um, we have this. Okay, now I want to, what I want to do is um, I want to have this um, background, which is black. But um, unfortunately, I have tried this many times. GeoGebra doesn't allow something like you have a color and over a color. So whatever is the dominating um, polygon or the dominating, um, say, polygon or line or circle, um, the dominating figure, shall we say, um, whatever the color of that is, of that, um, circle or that figure, it will dominate the uh, thing. So for example, if I want to make the circle black, I want to click on the move, I want to select this circle here, and I want to make that circle black, I want to click here and then click on the settings, and then make the color black, it will make also the red part black, like, imagine this. Okay, so that's the one of the bad things in GeoGebra that we cannot, I cannot undo, of course, it's part of their script. So I want to undo that. So I need to find ways of making this um, black. So instead of uh, doing something like making just a circle black, I want to make, oops, sorry. I want to make the whole background black and I want to make this um, line here of the circle to be yellow. That's one classic um, color of this logo. So I want to make that yellow. Maybe not, kind, not that kind of yellow, darker yellow, I presume. Yeah, okay, so that's, no, no, okay, 
So that's just um, a typical uh, uh, late logo or uh, the the original logo of this thing. I'm going to say this later. So um, what I want to do now is to make the background black instead of white. So I want I mean I want to put I I will find the background here. Maybe it's on here. Yeah, here the background color. I want to make it black. And uh, I want to make it really black, like zero, zero, zero black. And I want to click OK. And then there you go. So we're we're um, like 60% there. What I, what we want to do then is to we don't want any letters, any grid lines there for us to make the perfect logo. So what I want to do first is I want to clear out the the style, or rather the grid. I don't want to show the grid. Okay, I don't want to show the axis. I don't want to show the number. Um, anyways, this axis and the numbers is not that important because our background is already black. So, um, the the let the numbers and the axes are on our color colored black, colored black rather. So, um, I want to not highlight the the letters and the points. So I want to go on the left side of the screen. I want to uncolor them so um if you can see the circle if you're going to click that that highlights them if you click that again it will not highlight them so let's just second the circle okay so uh i don't want i want to highlight that that circle so i just want just don't want to highlight the point c and d the point e don't i don't want to hide that point f point g point h of course like i, I don't want to unhighlight this because that's a polygon itself but i want to unhighlight the other letters that coincides as the edges of that um, polygon and notice that we have c here uh, what is that c that's the name of the circle that's circle c and i i want to hide that c so i want to go here click on settings and then i want to not uncheck the or uncheck the show label so therefore it will be not shown so here we go i think we're done with our black widow um okay black widow um logo of the marvel cinematic universe um it's not really the cinematic universe um i think the, the yellow here stands for the original marvel comics it's yellow but if you want okay let's make it white make it even more things that thing like that okay so it can be white can be yellow um it depend, depends on you um if you want the original marvel um, logo for black widow it's going to be yellow and with um with thinner more narrower um parts here at the at the hedge but um yeah this will be fine and what will you do then uh you want to save this as a picture as a as a png or J, J, jpeg so you may, may want to click on this three lines here and you may want to export this as an image and uh, you can see that it's not yet aligned. It's up to you to align them. I'll try my best. Okay. Okay, let's align that. Okay, export image. Okay, um, not yet aligned. I'm, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist myself. So let's try to make it aligned. <laughs> Okay, I think that's pretty good, and um, I want to copy that. Uh, if you want to paste it on a Word format or like a Microsoft Word or Pages, you may want to click on Copy on Clipboard. But if you want to save it as an image, you may want to click on Download, and it downloads it. It, it saves it on whatever folder you want. I just want to save it on the Downloads folder. I want to name it as Logo. Okay. Okay, so there's already, I want to replace that. Okay, so it's already on my um, download, so I want to show it to you guys. And here we go. Okay, so here is our logo for the Black Widow. Okay, so this logo is taken directly from GeoGebra. So again, GeoGebra can be one um, classic way Okay, to create logos of your own. So from your math write up one, you're going to create a logo 
for the college. So um, you can use the uh, just GeoGebra as as of me. Uh, I've created this logo for Black Widow. And after that, don't forget to save it as um, the the GeoGebra file. You want to want to click on save this and um, oops, sorry, and then save it as export it as ggb dot ggb and then you just change the the file name okay and uh, i think that ends our video um thank you very much for watching um i hope you learned something from this from creating the the logos using geogebra so um hope to see you soon and then um, um stay updated for future videos so thank you very much for watching